The business of CEO is not to do business. Sounds funny, but it's true. The CEO has a different context altogether in this changing world. If everyone has an operational vision, the company, the organization, the enterprise ends up doing more of the same thing. In order to build sustainable organization of the future, it's extremely important that CEO uplifts himself in the role and initiates those foundational steps which are beyond immediate performance, which go to build the health of the company. And such foundational steps are building culture, building human resources, building leadership, building a brand, creating an architecture of integrity and ever evolving technology. These are the areas the CEOs should be concerned about. It's not to say that CEO is not concerned about the business. The issue is one that of emphasis, that the emphasis of CEOs work today is on what I call them intangibles. And I believe from my personal experience of running a large organization, it's intangibles that drive tangibles. To elaborate a little bit on this, uh, let me uh, share that uh, one of the most important part of uh, CEO role is to change culture of the organization. It may sound a bit esoteric, but it's fundamental to build organizations of future. How can we serve customers if the internal culture remains the same? How do we capture what is happening around, in and around, in the world, what people are talking about, what's the competition all about, if there is no change internally? And this culture change is in regard to how do we respond to customers, how do we understand their pain points, how are we aware of our internal processes, internal systems, and all those small, small things that can create problems for our customers, whether it is reaching out to people, it is the accessibility to top management, all these things we need to work out almost like a microsurgery and look at how we can bring customer into the game. And this is all about looking at the things from customer's perspective and bringing about those cultural change within the organization by accepting our role, by accepting accountability, by accepting the problems. And as I said, this would require a lot of work internally, training people, meeting people, convincing them about the need to change. The other aspect is building human resources. We normally hear the rhetorics about human resources that the employees are our assets. I go a step further. Employees are the only assets. And the moment we say employees are the only assets, it makes all the difference. In the humdrum of business, we end up only with good intentions and we are not able to really put our belief accelerated to a level that we really become employee centric. Here comes the role of CEO to translate this vision about employees into action by going around, moving around, shaking more hands with people, building infrastructure and ecosystem for human resources developing engagement programs, inviting ideas, having corporate chats with them, 
and everything that can motivate an employee and engage an employee and build their capabilities. Again, this is a huge work and you need professionals in HR. You need to reskill HR to do this. You need to rehash, restructure, reposition and whatever is required to see that HR really represents employees. Now comes the branding. The branding is not the branding in the sense of more advertisement, hiring a, you know, a, a brand ambassador, the branding in terms of what an organization stands for. What are we promising to people and how do we create internal culture that resonate with the promise that the organization is making. An extension of this is really looking at our offerings, our logo, our brand ambassador if we have. One would wonder, many, many a times we see that these things are delegated to marketing department or some brand management or consulting firm. But I think it's extremely important for the CEO to look at it. I, for exa example, when I was working in a large size organization, I mean myself taking presentation from firms for the possible advertisement material for the my organization. I didn't want to be surprised next day in the morning seeing in the newspaper some dull ad for my organization. I wanted to engage myself with those ad. They may sound little superficial for a CEO role, but I think it's extremely fundamental when you are building a brand for the company. Now, the other piece of CEO role is to create the bench strength of leadership. These days, it has become tried to say that we need to build leadership pipeline. But I think once again, what do we do to create leadership bench strength, create leadership pipeline? And once again, there's a whole lot of issues to look at our performance management system, to look at our how do we measure potential, how do we bring talent, how do we nurture them, how do we preserve them, how do we really create conditions that we create a space for personal growth for people. Again, it's a big job. These are not these small delegatable thing. You need top class professionals to help you in HR and you yourself need to bring your vision into this that you create leaders who will survive you, who will replace you and your team. And unless CEO has that vision to look ahead and has that telescopic vision to see the disdain, to see the horizon, it's very difficult to create future of organization. So likewise, you know, all these intangibles, human resources, leadership, technology, branding, they are extremely important and now the research reveals that intangibles contribute to 50% of market capitalization. How come two companies with same earnings have a different P and one of the reasons that the market capitalization varies, although the earnings may be same, is because such companies have strong intangibles. They can be trusted, they are respected for the fund of goodwill, they are respected for the kind of leaders that they have. And that's what intangibles all about. To sum up, I would only say that performance is one part. And we have a whole lot of people focusing on performance. But beyond performance comes the health of the institution. The health is something that will survive, that will survive the turbulence, that will survive the tornadoes, that will survive the tsunami of change.